Hello and welcome to another video. I feel like I have to whisper because I'm not alone in the house. <laughs> Anyhow, today I thought I was going to do a little bit of a um, DIY experiment, present, project. <laughs> and it's something I've never really done on this, this channel before, but I really want to get better at like sewing and making stuff. And I had this idea for a present for my friend who has her birthday in like three days or rather her birthday party you know i had this idea and i was like i don't know if i have the skills for this i don't know if i have the right equipment i don't know if this is possible therefore i thought i absolutely have to do it so what i'm gonna show you is how i turned this into this depending on whether i failed or uh, Depending on whether I failed or succeeded, this result <laughs> might vary. I mean, you have seen a little sneak peek, I suppose, but I, I, I don't know how it will look like yet. Anyhow, let's begin. So this is the shirt that I bought. My plan was to take this picture of my friend and I wanted to like cut out little pieces of other different fabrics and like put them together so that it will resemble this picture. And I started out by just printing out the picture and then I went ahead and just cut out the excess uh, around the picture so that I got this. And focus please. And uh, you might ask yourself, why have I taped it to a window? <laughs> and it's because I'm planning to like, um, I don't really know what to call it. It's like little masks, little molds. So I will know how much, like the shape and how much to cut out in the fabric later on. So what I've done is I've just put a white paper above it so I will be able to see through the lines and I will like draw so I get a shirt form a sh and then a pants form and then a blah blah blah. Uh, I hope you get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut out the shapes for the entire piece right now and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Belly. Well, anyways, now I've made some of them and I will continue. All the molds I have done for the different parts of her body that I want to like have different fabrics on and so now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them out I've you know written on them so I know what they are if you can't tell it's pretty obvious so here I have the clothes here I have the skin and the birdie bird um, and I'll get back to you when I cut them out Oh, there, it's done. <laughs> now I have uh, like laid out all the parts in the way I want them to be. It's a little like tilted right now, but I will line it up to fit the shirt. It is a little smaller than I want it to be, but I think this is just gonna have to do. I think I would like cut out like a grass piece and put beneath there and some somehow and uh, I don't really know how I'm gonna sew this together yet. Uh, you know, we can make it out along the way. It's no problem. <laughs> okay, so what I usually do is when I have a piece of clothing or something that I don't want anymore or it's too small or what, I don't like it or whatever, I save those things so I can use the fabric for, you know, making other stuff. So for the skin parts, I'm gonna be using just a white shirt that I have already cut to pieces. 
but there should be enough space here to get the pieces that I need. And then for her shorts and belts, I think. Or maybe as the shorts, I will be using this jeans fabric. And for her shirt, I'll be using this lighter uh, jeans fabric. And then I think for the bird... Hmm... Choices. I think for the glove and the boots, I'll be doing like complete, complete black fabric. I have this for that. And then I'll ha I have a bit of green for grass. Yeah, I'm just gonna start drawing the molds on the fabrics. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. right now but I'm going to rearrange them the way they are, they are supposed to be and we'll see what it looks like okay yes yeah, so right now it might <laughs> not look that good but absolutely I think it will be better absolutely maybe <laughs> I don't know man uh, Please, all the powers in the universe help me to get this right. <laughs> so now, all I have to do is I'm gonna do the little grass piece that she's gonna be standing on. And then we're gonna get to needling it to the shirt and start sewing it together. This is what it looks like needled to the position that I wanted it in. I actually had to redo it once because it was like not straight at all, uh, kind of annoying. So I'm really lucky to have a mom who has like a lot of sewing things. So I managed to find these, a couple of perfect threads, but, like the perfect color, exactly what I needed. Uh, so the first one is this light blue one. And I'm going to be using that on the shirt and the pants. You see, it's so perfect. Then I also have this black thread that I'm obviously going to be using on the black fabric. Then I have this, it's a brown thread. You can barely see it on camera, but it's a bit lighter than the black one. And I'm actually going to be using these two on the bird. Because that is both brown and black fabric. So I thought it was perfect that I managed to find them. Now go ahead and grab your favorite beverage, then like grab a snack and sit down, relax, just watch me struggle, you know, that's what it's about, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. 
have a result. Okay, but come on, tell me. Tell me that's not pretty good. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not super mad. I thought this would be a total fail. I even bought a backup present in case this turned out like shit. But uh, let's take a look at this. And then look at the original picture. Okay, like, uh, it's not that bad. I did a little beak, you can see here. I mean, like most things, it's prettier from afar. Just look at it this way, cause uh, you know, when you come close, you can see, uh, you can, uh, you can see everything that's wrong, like, look here, look here, this is not good. <laughs> I used like a straight stitch and then for everything else, like a zigzag st stitch. <laughs> Mistakes. I mean, at least I learned something till the next time, right? <laughs> I'm a freaking pro. Now that it's finished, I'm so happy I did this, because like personally I had a lot of trouble buying uh, presents because everything just feels boring like I don't want to buy something that either you don't like or you already have I tend to rather just make something myself and that usually is drawing but this time I said sewing because I need to brighten my horizon and the results are like not as bad as it could have been you don't think this is complete garbage uh, you can throw it away if you want to I won't mind just don't tell me cuz I will uh, die from suicide here at the end I just want to encourage everybody out there who feel like they want to create something and uh, feel like they want to craft my number one tip is just do it and if it turns out like shit then you learned what not to do don't worry about doing something wrong because yeah, most times you can fix it and if you can't fix it then now it's part of the design you don't have to be good to want to do something I'm, what i'm saying is don't be sad if your thing doesn't turn out as good as this because after all it was done by me it's unfair to your mortals out there wherever you are out there in the world and goodbye. See you soon.